Hello viewers, welcome to AKMIS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about Shiv Sena dispute. Okay, so if you have seen, Shiv Sena has uh, like split into two fractions, and there is a recent Supreme Court judgment with respect to this. What are the issues that has to be looked into? What are the like who are the powers authorized to decide who is actual uh, Shiv Sena and all these things we have we are going to discuss in this particular video. So now let's start the video. What are the sub things we are going to discuss is why it is in news, what is the background of this issue, okay? What happened previously, what is this election symbol, who can apply, and also we are going to see in which way this is going to be helpful, okay? So these are the things and it falls under GS paper 2 of Indian constitution. Then what is the news about? If you have seen Maharashtra speaker, okay? So he decided that Eknath Shinde fraction is the real Shiv Sena. Means if you have remembered, Shiv Sena is the regional party in Maharashtra. Okay, it was established by Thakris. So later what happened when this party is joining some coalition government in Maharashtra. So it broke into two. One by Uddhav Thakre and another by Eknath Shinde. So both are claiming that our party or our fraction is actual Shiv Sena. So this even this issue went to Supreme Court also. Supreme Court has said that uh, whether uh, like speaker has the power to decide or whether election commission have the power to decide on what grounds you can decide actual party and all these things we are going to discuss in this particular video. So if you have seen why it is a news, Maharashtra speaker Rahul Narvekar has ruled that Eknath Shinde was a legitimate, okay, that was the actual Shiv Sena and party symbol was also allocated to him. So what is in this in terms of examination point of view, political aspects are not important, but what is important is these type of judgments or the provisions and who is authorized and what type of powers are there with the constitutional authorities. So that is very important. In 2016, this case is very important with respect to powers of governor and powers of speaker also. Okay, if you see Nabam Rebia case, this is a case related to Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, in this case, what Supreme Court said is one main issue is in case, okay, normally you know a member of uh, legislative assembly or member of parliament he can be disqualified on two grounds okay so one on those grounds which are mentioned by any law passed by parliament that means for example if you have seen under article 102 okay so there are some provisions mentioned like for example uh, any law passed by parliament can also state on what grounds he can be disqualified or under anti defection also a member of parliament or legislative assembly can be disqualified so what is this case about in this case supreme court said that in case okay if a speaker has the authority to decide anti defection related cases right so in case if speaker is to decide anti defection cases you know his authority is final okay so he is the only person who can decide defection cases but what happens in case if a motion is passed to remove the speaker of the house, then whether the speaker will have the power to disqualify these persons or not is the question. Okay, is it clear now? Now the speaker is having entire power with respect to defection cases, but what is the issue is in case if the speaker himself is under removal or the process is there to remove the uh, speaker of the house in that particular assembly, then can he be eligible to decide defection related cases or not is the question in Nabam Rebia case. So in this case, speaker facing removal notice from deciding disqualifications, please whether he is authorized or not is unanswered. Okay. So what happened here is criticism. This actually what Supreme Court said here, here it said that a person is disabled means speaker is not authorized okay so in case if he is in under the removal then he cannot decide defection related cases so then what happened it attracted criticism because defecting people what they will do easily to surpass because if speaker is not having power in case if there is a removal motion then what happened the persons who are defecting they will try to introduce a motion to remove the speaker so that speaker doesn't have any power to remove them or disqualify them so that is what why the criticism was attracted to this nabam rebia judgment in 2016 so defecting legislators can stall 10 schedule by seeking removal motion of the speaker and they can tie the hands of the speaker in that way they can ask uh, they can make the speaker not to take any decision with respect to disqualification then what is the background of this issue you know 
okay this issue started when uddhav thakre led shiv sena party join some coalition government in 2022 a group of mlas led by eknath shinde split or rebelled against the actual uh, party founder then what happened this group of 34 mlas they have rebelled against uddhav thakre you know there is four grounds mentioned for anti defection right okay if a person is individually joining any party independently elected and he later join any party or if any person after nomination uh, means in case after 6 months if he join or in case if he vote or abstain okay from uh, anything contrary to the party's decision and all and also in case of split okay split means if one third of the members okay they split from the party and they join another party then defection will be applied okay that means only two grounds where defection will not apply is for the speaker because he has to resign from his party post and also the second thing is in case of merger merger means if two third members okay if two third members will join another party then they are not under the grounds of disqualification under 10 schedule that is defection but what happened here this was challenged okay whether it comes under defection or not so here they wanted to remove this person as the leader of the party okay because he has rebelled against the party then what happened same time shinde's leadership also wanted to appoint own person and they, he became the chief minister so then what happened this person originally uddhav thakre was a chief minister he also have resigned without taking the floor test and all so now eknath shinde became the chief minister then what happened this was filed before the speaker okay so first thing done was uddhav thakre faction has filed a motion before the speaker that they have to be disqualified under the grounds of 10 schedule so what happened this person he also claimed that mlas never received any whip whip means a discipline action taken by the party means what whenever the whip is issued that political party members have to adhere to the party's decision okay so the, he is saying that the party did not issue any whip but eknath uh, uddhav thakre's faction said the party's whip was not followed that is why they have to be disqualified that can also be as i told you one of the ground for defection as per them split was out of legitimate grievances held by the pop supporters and all so he did not violate any legislative rules attracting the disqualification and he also sought disqualification of 14 mlas of the other faction then what happened this is all the issue that happened but what actually happened matter went to supreme court so chief whip will be appointed by the party actually that has challenged this petition in the supreme court so he also said decision of maharashtra governor to call for a trust vote okay because without asking because if you see nabam rabia case what actually happened is the chief minister will advise one date for floor test okay but before that floor test only governor before one day himself will call for floor test and because of preponement of the floor test the present at that time whatever the government in arunachal pradesh will lose their uh, majority okay so then supreme court will reinstate because governor in his personal discretion cannot call for a floor test okay it is the advice of the chief minister and the council of ministers which has to be binding on the governor in case if he calls for a floor test that is what the judgment of nabam rebia case and also the swearing in of ekna chinde as a chief minister also happened and then all these things were challenged okay and the appointment of new speaker was also challenged okay so then what happened this person also uh, like argued that this person is nabam rabia case is uh, like um, as i told you this judgment is allowing the defect disqualified or defected people to re, uh, like initiate a resolution against the speaker for his removal okay that is what mainly highlighted by the uddhav thakre so on this verdict of supreme court what did they said disqualification of mlas so while any person okay so when any person has initiated disqualification motion we cannot interfere means supreme court cannot interfere and who have the power speaker must decide because if you have remembered under this 10 schedule entire powers are with the speaker himself so court said we cannot interfere and speaker must consider the version of the party constitution means more number of people or with which party party and all these things have to be observed to understand and decide and also court told supreme court a court told that supreme court speaker should not decide based on which faction has the majority in assembly and not per as per the election commission but they have to check okay majority of the workers are with party and all these things have to be examined and also on restoring uddhav thakre's government what the supreme court said is it is very important because he did not wait till float test 
okay so he resigned as a chief minister and did not face floor test so his government cannot be reinstated if governor without following their advice if he called for floor test and he lost majority then same like nabam rabia case there can be a chance of reinstating this government but without going for a floor test he himself resigned so we cannot reinstate him that is what the opinion in case of this and the govern on governor stole calling for a floor test governor did not act maharashtra governor did not act in accordance with the law that is what the opinion of supreme court and it's also said governor to act without aid and advice of the council of ministers is extraordinary nature means in most of the times governor is bind by the aid and advice of the council of ministers he cannot act in his personal discretion and also said government governor is not empowered to enter into political arena and he has to be neutral then on appointment of whip what is the supreme court's verdict is it said this person as a chief whip of shiv sena is to be illegal okay so whatever the party that was appointing this person this election of chief whip is illegal and also speaker and election commission can adjudicate the issues concurrently because this was challenged when ec is deciding some people said speaker that cannot have the power to decide so supreme court said both election commission and speaker can decide the issue concurrently means at the same time they can decide in their own domain okay then this issue was referred to a larger bench because it attracted criticism right whenever the disqualified members again initiate a movement Uh, like resolution against removal of speaker then the speaker is not authorized to disqualify right for these things as it had attracted criticism this is referred to a larger bench according to the supreme court judgment in this case okay then what is the verdict of speaker yesterday itself the verdict was given by the speaker that shinde faction was a real political party okay because it has overwhelming majority of 37 members out of 55 mlas and it rejected disqualification petitions okay filed by the uddhav uh, government's faction so that was also disqualified and what is the analysis now if you see shinde's faction is getting further legitimacy because even election commission of india also recognized this particular faction as a real shiv sena so in the entire issue as we have seen supreme court has given some things which need to be followed in identifying which is a real party okay it did not intervene into this and it gave a verdict that both the speaker and election commission or only the authorities to decide which party is actual party and who have to get on the party symbol and all because here speaker has decided with respect to disqualification election commission has decided with respect to party symbol okay so the bow and arrow symbol both have contested so which party actually has to get that symbol was decided by election commission so these are the things which are according to the supreme court's verdict we have analyzed this issue in detail we have seen what is nabam rabia's case and all now it is the time for practice question okay before that another thing you have to remember is there are eight national parties in india okay you know communist party cpm inc congress ncp this have lost recently okay the status aitc or this trinamool congress also recently lost bahujan samajwadi party bjp and npp this is a party from meghalaya this also is one of the eight national parties because such questions can be asked and what are the criteria for a party to be recognized as state party these are the things which can be asked in prelims be thorough with these things then this is the time for practice question here you can see the question for prelims on the basis of the criterion issued by election commission of india what is the minimum number of states in which a political party must be recognized to be termed as national party throughout whole of india answer in the comment section then main question discuss how the process of fragmentation of national party system and emergence of minority or coalition government in 1960s impacted indian politics and democracy okay So now we have come to the end of the video. In this video, we have discussed what is the controversy surrounding Shiv Sena Party, what is Supreme Court's verdict in Nabam Rabia case, how it is linked with this case, and what is the power of Speaker, whether uh, like he is having entire powers with respect to disqualifications, and what is the criticism that is attracted to this, and who is actually having the power with respect to deciding cases under defection related cases, and what are all the Supreme Court related. Uh, verdicts related to supreme court in this particular case and all these things we have seen in this video thank you